Hello and welcome back to Math at Marvin's. Okay, today we are starting 6.5 linear inequalities. I'm hoping you can see my screen right now. Okay, I'm going to open this up. Let's see, can I access my writing tools from here? I don't think I can. All right, just kidding. We got to go from the smaller screen. Okay, so 6.5 linear, linear inequalities. Remember, an inequality uh, is basically just an equation, but inside of an equal sign, we have something like this, where you have uh, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Um, a solution of an inequality in two variables is an ordered pair that makes the inequality true. So basically, in this case, it's any value for x and y. Remember, if you pick an x and y, you're talking about a point, okay? So in the case we're looking at right here, what we're saying is a solution to this inequality would be something like, let's see here, with x being that, that has to be less than, you could do like 1, 3. Because when I plug in 1 and 3, so I'd say 3 is greater than or, e or greater than, sorry, not or equal to 1 minus 3. So really what I have is three is greater than negative two. Okay, that is a true statement. Therefore, this is a solution. Okay, if you can plug it in and it comes out to be something that is true, it's a solution to the inequality. Okay, so one three is a solution to this inequality. Okay, and that's the first thing we're gonna be doing is uh, is, is they're going to ask you, they're going to give you something like this, like we just had the exact same problem. And then they're going to give you points and you plug them in and say, is it a solution? So one, two, plug it in. Two is greater than negative two. Yes. That means this is a solution. Negative three, negative seven. We plug it in. Oh, it comes out to negative seven is greater than negative six. That is not true. Therefore, this is not a solution. So you just plug in and you, you evaluate, is the statement true or not, okay? Um, this is probably the, this is the simpler of the type of problems we're going to do with this, is just testing points. Later on, we're going to have to use this step again in longer problems, but for right now, that's what we're doing. So what I want you to do is pause your screen right here and try number 12 and number 13. Test is negative 1, 1 and 2, negative 1 are those solutions to the problems that are given, okay? Go ahead and do that. Uh, again, I don't mind how you're taking notes. You don't have to. Um, you can write these out on a notebook piece of paper. Just make sure you're getting the essentials so at least you know what's going on. Like here, I would just want you to write down the two examples. Here, you can write down either of these if you would like. Really, I don't need anything on this slide. Okay, pause it. Do these problems. Okay, once you have that done, we are moving on and we're gonna start pretty simply. So the first thing you need to know, you do not need to write down all this. Here's what you need to write down. If it is less than or greater than, it is a dashed line, okay? It is a dashed line. If it is less than or equal to, oh, gotta get my writing tool back up. If it is less than or equal to or greater than or equal to, and remember that's what those signs mean with the line underneath them. Then when you graph it, it's a solid line, okay? Because now we're going to start graphing inequalities. So that's the first thing you need to know is when to use a dashed line and when to use a solid line, okay? Um, so in these first cases we're going to do, I'm actually going to skip a couple slides ahead. We're going to go to problems like these, okay? Problems like these. Actually, I'll go to this one. I'll do number one for you. So... Number one, we're looking at x is greater than or equal to negative four. So is it a dashed line or a solid line? Well, this one's going to be a solid line. Okay. Now, when you go to graph it, it's actually pretty easy. All you're going to do is change out this sign with an equal sign. So I'm going to do x equals negative four. Okay. So we do have to go back a chapter and remember how to graph things. These are our special cases, the ones we're going to do here, um, where you're going to graph the line, uh, and, and it's uh, just an x, no y. So remember, if it's x equals and there's no y on the other side, that makes it a vertical line. So we go to x equals negative 4, so negative 1, 2, 3, 4. 
So I'm here and it's a vertical line going this way. Okay. I apologize as usual if you can hear Lily in the background jumping and whining. So now what we have to do is go back and say, okay, did we say this was a solid line or a dashed line? It's a solid line. So I can go ahead and finish my line up. Oh my goodness, that was not good. Pretend that's a straight line for me, please. So I use a solid line instead of a dashed line. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now what I have to do, so here's the last part. So first part was determining solid or dashed line. Second part was graph it as an equation. So we just graph the line with the solid or dashed line. Last part is pick a test point. Pick a test point. Okay. So it's got to be on one side or the other. So I'm going to pick, let's just go, I, I love to use zero, zero as long as the line doesn't run through there. So I pick a test point and what I do is I plug it in. So there is no Y, so I just take the zero X value. Zero is greater than or equal to negative four. Zero is greater than or equal to negative four. Is that true? If it is true, you shade where that dot is. If it is not true, you shade the opposite. So there's two options here. There's this side. I hate when it, why it does that. There's this side and this side. Okay. So this point, zero is greater than or equal to negative four. That is true. So I will shade the side where that solution is. So I'll shade over here. And it goes all the way. Basically, what you're saying is any point you pick on this side of that line will work. So, yeah, if I picked the point 4, 2, well, I'd really only worry about the x value. So, 4, 4 is greater than or equal to negative 4. Yeah, that's true. So, the shading tells me everywhere where my solutions are. So, it's everywhere over here. Anything over here, not a solution. Okay. Um, and I could probably help you out here. Let's write our own little set of rules. I'll give you some rules to write down here real quick. Uh, let me get back to my arrow key. Uh-oh, lost it. Okay. So here's, here's your set of rules. One. Actually, I should just do a text box. That's probably going to be easier. Let's do that. One. Determine solid or dashed line. Wait, that, that might be a little too big. Let's try something like this. Two, write the inequality as an equation. Or you can write down replace inequality symbol with equal sign. So that's what you're doing. You're taking out the inequality symbol. You're putting in an equal sign. Three, graph that line. And then finally, four is a test point. Okay, you go through those steps. Determine solid or dashed line. Write the inequality as an equation. Graph that equation. Then choose a test point and do your shading. Okay? Not too bad. I'll do one more with you. We're going to work on only the special cases for today. Um, so you guys don't have to worry too much. Let me make sure I'm still recording. It looks like I am. Yes, good. Okay. So if we go, we're going to avoid number three for now. If we do number two, so Y is less than two. So really what I'm doing is I'm going to say, all right, I'm looking at solid or dash line. This one's going to be dashed. Just a reminder to me to do a dash line. Then I go, all right, replace the symbol. So y, oh my goodness, I hate it when it does that. Y equals two, graph that equation. So what I'm gonna look at now is, all right, Y equals two. So Y equals two is a horizontal line at positive two, so it goes here. So now I'd go ahead, and this is where I have to remember, dashed line. So I'm gonna do a dashed line all the way through here.
and draw my arrows because I'm talking about a line. So now I have to do the inequality part. So I pick a test point. Like I said, I like zero, zero as long as the line doesn't go through it. You have to pick a point off the line. So I pick zero, zero. Don't have to worry about the X. Zero is my Y value. So zero is less than two. Is that true? Yeah, zero is less than two. So now I go ahead and I do my shading. I shade that region. Okay, if it wouldn't have worked, I would shade the opposite region. If it's not on one side, you know it has to be the other. And we're done. Okay, so those are your two types of problems that you're going to do for today. Tomorrow we'll go, or sorry, Monday we'll go on to problems that look like this, where now we're dealing with uh, bigger equations. Uh, but for now, I just want to make sure we can do this process. So make sure you did your two practice problems I told you to pause on before. Otherwise, here's your other ones. I'll make you a couple more down here. So let's do x is less than or equal to 3, y is greater than negative 1, and x is, let's go, greater than 5. Go ahead, graph and shade those, go through the steps, do that. If you're feeling really good, so pause here if you need these, write these down. If you're feeling really good, um, I'd love to see you do this one, okay, or attempt it. I know we haven't walked through it, so that's absolutely just a, um, a pre-practice for what we're going to do next time. See if you could graph it and show the line. As always, if you need help, plug it into Desmos. Great way to check your answer, but those four problems are what we're looking at. Make sure you, uh, you, you email me if you have any questions. Email me if you'd like to have a Zoom meeting. Um, otherwise, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you want to. Uh, and enjoy your day. This shouldn't have taken too much time. I don't have a time running here, so I have no idea how long this video was, but I don't think I made it too long. Uh, let me know if you guys need anything. Hope you're enjoying your time. Hopefully, you're understanding this stuff. Good luck, and let me know. Have a good one.